On a cruise to the Bahamas, three-fourths of the female passengers on board are married to two-thirds of the male passengers. There are also five more male passengers than female passengers on board. How many passengers are on the trip? Assume every married person is with his or her spouse, and all marriages are monogamous and heterosexual. So let's see if we can solve this problem. We're going to solve this problem algebraically. So when we work with algebraic equations, we have to first define our variable. It's a very good idea to write down the question before you follow the solution. Now, because of these assumptions that everybody is with his or her spouse and all marriages are monogamous and heterosexual, that tells me if I have five married men, I'll have five married women. If I have 50 married men, I'll have 50 married women. In other words, the number of married men is same as the number of married women. Let's erase that and let's look at the solution once again. Not a bad idea. It's not a bad idea to pause the video and copy the question because the question will not be available on the next slides. So let's define our variable. We know from the question that that there were five more men, so if there are x females, there must be x plus five males. Now, let's write our equation, which is actually the most difficult part. So from the question, we know three-fourths of the females were married to two-thirds of the men. This is three-fourths of all the females, I have x females, and this is two-thirds of all the males, I have x plus five males, and they must equal each other because of our assumptions. Now, it, once you have the equation, it's not very difficult to solve the, solve the equation. Um, the main idea is to write the equation correctly and make sure you do get it, how, how we wrote this equation. You want to make sure you get it. I can go over it once again. Three-fourths of the females must equal two-thirds of the males. And x plus 5 is the number of males, x is the number of females. So let's go ahead and solve this equation on the next slide. Okay, so this is my question from the previous slide. There are multiple ways you can solve this equation. I'm going to show all the steps and I'm going to do it in a certain way. I don't like fractions, so I multiply both sides by 4. And if I do so, on the left hand side I only have 3x. On the right hand side I have 4 times 2 is 8, 8 over 3 times x plus 5. Again, I need to get rid of this 3. Multiply both sides by 3. On the left-hand side, I get 9x. On the right-hand side, this 3 and this 3. They cancel. I get 8 times x plus 5. I distribute 8 over x plus 5. I get 8x plus 40. Okay. And then I move my variables around. 9x minus 8x is x, so x is 40. Remember, x is the number of females and x plus 5 was the number of males. So let's look at our answer. Okay, so if x is 40, there were 40 females, and according to the question, there were 5 more males than females, so there must have been 45 males. And the question really wants you to find how many passengers were there, so that would be 40 plus 45, which is 85. That's our answer.